Hello everyone and welcome to a very interesting game from round 5 of the Grand K Chess Classic. Uh, this game lasted over 7 hours, uh, I believe it's 7 hours and 9 minutes to be exact. Uh, we have Fabiano Caruana with the white pieces and Ho Yifan with the black pieces. And uh, like I said, it's a very exciting game and as usual it's uh, this game like finished uh, 5 minutes ago. Uh, so I'm just gonna show it to you, I don't have any photos uh, of the event yet, I will show you the photos and the standings. Uh, probably tomorrow morning, uh, as I will show another game from this round. Uh, but for now, I just want to show you this game because it features uh, one of the most amazing uh, tactics uh, so far in this tournament, and maybe maybe even further. It's really, it's really quite a beauty. Uh, Fabi has the white pieces and he opens with e4. Uh, we have e5, knight to f3, and knight to f6. Uh, Yifan goes uh, for the Petrov defense, so using Fabi's weapon against him. Uh, knight captures, we have d6, knight back to f3, and the knight captures on e4, and the knight to c3, something uh, people have been using uh, lately to try and get advantage with white. Uh, knight captures on c3, d captures on c3, and now bishop to e7. Uh, bishop to e3, we have castles, queen to d2, knight to d7, and a queenside castle. Uh, knight to f6, h3, uh, not allowing bishop to g4, uh, c5, and bishop to f4 now. Uh, bishop to e6 and now a3. a3 uh, seems like an interesting uh, uh, seems like an interesting move. Uh, I don't know. In, in in positions like like these, I always go king b1. Uh, I, I kind of don't want my king and my queen on the same diagonal. And if black ever decides to go queen a5 only, then well, I maybe if I'm forced, I will go a3. So a3, uh, you know, this is top chess. Uh, d5. Uh, knight to g5 and the bishop to d7, now not allowing uh, Fabi to capture uh, the bishop. Uh, g4, bishop to c6, uh, eyeing that rook on h1, uh, bishop to g2 and now rook to e8. Uh, queen to d3, uh, pressuring that h7 pawn so this knight on f6 can't really move. Uh, bishop to d6 and here uh, bishop to, uh, queen to g3, uh, pressuring now the bishop on d6 and also... Uh, uh, basically for forcing the exchange of bishops uh, you don't you don't want to play a move like queen to d2 to simply protect the bishop uh, because then h6 wins the game for black I uh, simply attack the knight knight f3 and now comes knight to e4 you attack the queen uh, the queen has to keep an eye on the f2 pawn otherwise you get uh, for example queen d3 you get this nice fork uh, <laughs> both rooks and the queen I only square where that you can protect uh, is e3 and e1 and after you do this knight g3 attacks the queen from the rook you you pick up this rook uh, and you even don't even have to pick up the rook if if uh, white plays something like queen to d2 uh, you can go bishop captures on f4 and after queen captures knight d2 check now again wins the queen so a lot a lot of poison to this uh, queen to g3 definitely the strongest move uh, bishop captures queen captures and now h6 knight to f3 and queen to b8 uh, Yifan forces an exchange of queens. Uh, well, not forcing it, but uh, you know, there's really not a bright square for the queen. Uh, so captures, captures, and now knight to d2. Um, Fabi has to activate somehow. Uh, this knight doesn't really have any good squares from f3, and uh, this bishop uh, isn't really doing anything uh, unless this knight moves. Uh, so knight to d2, but this allows rook to e2, so inf infiltrating already on the second rank. Uh, attacking the f2 pawn and now rook to f1 defending it and here Yifan plays b6 uh, b6 seems like an odd move uh, since you do have a rook on e2 so why not double up immediately problem is if you do this uh, then white has this option of pushing c4 uh, you don't want to capture on c4 then bishop captures bishop you're going to have tripled pawns on the c file white can simply gobble them up whenever he wants to so you'd have to push d4 and after captures captures and let's say b4 uh, captures, captures, uh, you're gonna have to go back from the e-file, so doubling up on the e-file was just a, a waste of a move. Uh, so, uh, in this position, Yifan goes b6. Uh, now, rook to e1, offering an exchange of rooks, uh, rook to e8 now, uh, rook captures, rook captures, and now king to d1, uh, kicking the rook back. Rook to e6, and now f4. Uh, king to f8, uh, Yifan wants to get uh, her king into the game, rook to e1, king to e7, now uh, captures, captures, and king to e2. So if we look at this position, uh, the material is completely equal. Uh, one thing you, you can immediately notice is that Fabi has doubled pawns on the c-file, and that his king is slightly more active. So all in all, black, black is slightly better. Uh, g5, 
uh, f captures on g5, h captures on g5, and now knight to f3, uh, attacking the g5 pawn. Knight to e4, defending the pawn, and now king to e3. Uh, f6, now defending the g5 pawn once more by the f6 pawn, so now the knight can move. Uh, bishop to f1, and now knight to d6. Uh, knight to d2, now f5. Uh, captures cap, uh, captures by the knight, uh, king to f2, and now knight, uh, sorry, king to e5, and now knight to f3 check. King to f4, and now you can see that the black king is already extremely active. So knight to e1, uh, c4 now, not allowing knight to d3 check, also limiting the mobility of this bishop on f1. Uh, knight to g2 check now, uh, king to e5, and bishop to e2. Uh, bishop to a4, attacking the c2 pawn, bishop d1 defending, bishop to e8, uh, and now bishop to g4. Uh, bishop to g6, now threatening discoveries to, to grab the c, c2 pawn. Uh, bishop to e2, uh, and now knight to, knight to d6, again attacking the pawn. Uh, knight to e3, now defending the c2 pawn, and now knight to e4 check. King f3, and now knight to f6. Uh, king to f2, bishop to f7. Uh, knight to g2, and now bishop to e6, attacking the pawn. Uh, h4, uh, knight to e4 check, uh, king moves, and now bishop to h3. Uh, pawn captures, uh, knight captures with check, uh, king to g3, bishop captures on g2, king captures on g2, and knight to e6. And uh, this is now uh, a very a very dangerous position for white, as you can see. Uh, it's, very, it's very hard to defend these pawns. Uh, uh, Yifan's plan is knight to c5, knight to a4, and from there uh, the knight will be attacking the b2 pawn, which cannot be defended by the bishop because it's on a dark square, uh, and also if you push it, then c3 will become a permanent weakness. For example, if you push b3, uh, then after b5, captures, captures, again you have this weak c3 pawn, and it will uh, it will fall very soon. Uh, so, uh, king to f2, uh, we have knight to c5 as planned, bishop to h5, Knight to a4, not even trying to defend it, bishop to e8, and knight captures on b2. Uh, king to e2, uh, a6 now, uh, we have king to d2, and now uh, b5. Bishop to h5, knight to a4, bishop to a uh, f7, and uh, this is move 59. So this is where uh, you have to make one more move to gain, uh, to reach the second time control. And uh, here, of course, the question is do you push d4 or do you not push d4? Uh, d4 immediately does give black some additional winning chances. After c captures, king captures, you do have to play something, king to d1, uh, c3, and now king to c1. And now it's it's definitely a question, can black actually win this? It's uh, very hard to say, but uh, Yifan didn't want to commit to this, as uh, she does have to make one more move uh, to actually start doing something. Uh, but uh, uh, she played knight to c5, and uh, here uh, we have king to c1. And here Peter Leko uh, made an interesting observation. He said that now that move 60 has been made, uh, she could have simply played knight back to a4, uh, allow the, the king to repeat, and then uh, use her time to, to calculate d4. Uh, but yeah, that's, I mean, he's a very, he's a very, you know, <clears throat> uh, experienced guy. Uh, so knight to e6, uh, trying to now go all around with the knight, king to b2, knight to f4, uh, bishop to e8, king to e4, and bishop to c6 now. King to e3, uh, the idea is, uh, well, the ideal idea is would be king to d2, and then use the knight to pick up these two pawns without this bishop actually uh, grabbing too many of your own pawns. Uh, and here Fabi makes the mistake that uh, almost cost him the game. Uh, here he played bishop to b7, bishop to b7 is a blunder that loses the game, uh, but it's extremely interesting how it loses the game. So here's the position, feel free to pause the video and uh, find the winning move for Yifan. I will give it a couple of seconds, but feel free to use, uh, feel free to use 5 minutes even uh, to do it as it's it's extremely interesting. I don't think I don't think even five minutes is enough, but you know, uh, you could maybe maybe just give it like a minute or two. So even if you don't find it, you would be you will be very impressed uh, when you see wh what's going on here. Uh, here, the reason bishop to b7 is a mistake. Uh, it seems like this bishop is now going to gobble up all of these pawns, but king to d2 actually wins. Uh, now, after bishop captures on a6, now you play knight to d3 check, and now you're in a whole other whole lot of pain uh, because after you capture 
uh, you what you play now now comes d4 and now anything anything wins for black uh, if you play pawn captures on c4 then you get captures with check king moves check moves check and you get, grab the queen and you win the game uh, if you don't uh, if you don't go like this uh, doesn't doesn't matter if, even if you capture this pawn and simply push the pawn to c3 again wins king moves doesn't doesn't really matter and ev everything wins here uh, so after this king to d2 and the bishop captures knight to d3 check uh, you you obviously can't capture the knight but even if you don't capture the knight even if you play something like king to b1 uh, again knight to e1 is coming and now after bishop captures knight captures on c2 uh, bishop attacks pawn now comes knight to e3 defending the pawn and still your king is going to capture the c3 pawn uh, king defends now comes d4 with the same idea you capture you push c3 and you queen your own pawn so a brilliant uh, a brilliant maneuver this king to d2 uh, but uh, both fabi and yifan missed it so here yifan played a5 uh, first getting her pawn to a dark square and only then maybe she thought she would uh, do something uh, i don't know as like i said the game lasted over seven hours uh, i don't think they'll be doing an interview at least not today uh, but if they will if i find one after i make this video i will put all the links as usual in the description below uh, so king to c1, we have knight to e2 check, king moves, uh, king to d2, bishop captures on d5, knight captures on c3, bishop attacks the pawn on b5, now we have knight d1 check, king b1, and knight to e3. Uh, bishop to e4, you, you don't really have the option of capturing here, uh, because now comes knight captures on c2, and white is lost. If you capture the pawn, you get knight captures here, uh, this comes with check, you lose the bishop, and uh, the a pawn will win the game. So after knight e3, bishop to e4, and uh, here this is move 70. Uh, uh, it's it certainly seems like there should be a way to win this position with black, and uh, uh, I mean black is so much better here. White can basically just move the bishop around on this diagonal, and uh, there's simply no way to win it. Uh, so uh, of course Yifan tried, uh, as she did work uh, very hard for this game. Finally, she decided to push c3. Uh, but now bishop moves, knight to c4, attacks the pawn, king defends pawn, uh, and now Yifan will basically try every possible square for her knight here uh, to, to try something, but there is no there is no way to do this. Uh, because, as you can see, there is no way to ever capture this pawn, the bishop and the king will always defend it, and there is no other way to, to break through in this position. So, they did play a couple of more moves, so we have here tried a couple of more ideas now even a4 was pushed uh and yeah after the knight tried all of the squares now the now here finally knight to c6 was played and here an exchange of pawns was made so finally knight grabs the c2 pawn uh, but it doesn't matter king b3 checks and knight moves back knight goes here and now finally c2 uh, and after pushing c2 they finally agreed to a draw after seven hours and nine minutes so definitely, definitely a wild game, and uh, this entire game, Yifan uh, had the upper hand, uh, completely do dominated the entire game. Uh, but yeah, that one, that one moment uh, when Fabi played uh, Bishop to B7, uh, she had this chance of playing King to D2 and win the game. But uh, you know, who who would who would possibly see this? So yeah, uh, hopefully some of you saw that. If you have, do do share your great success in the comments uh, comment section below. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Martin Christensen and William Avery for a contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. Uh, as usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching, and uh, I will see you tomorrow morning uh, with another game from, from the Grand K Chess Classic. Uh, thank you all.